Well, that's the sum and substance. Uh, Donald Trump there focusing on the pharmaceutical sector, saying he wants U.S. pharma companies to return to the U.S. and manufacture in the U.S. promises once again to cut taxes bigly. That's his word, not mine. Also, interesting comments there coming in from the president, saying that he, want fo he wants foreign countries to pay their fair share as far as development costs are concerned. Keval Handa, you've been listening into what you just heard there from Donald Trump. Your reaction? So my first reaction is that he is going to make uh, the laws much easier for companies uh, in U.S. to manufacture products for U.S. That's one thing that is very clear. Secondly, he is going to make it easy for new developments of the products not take longer duration for approval. Uh, having said that, it's not easy because 70 to 80 percent of the API is manufactured outside the U.S. for consumption in U.S. So it's not going to be easy to get the API units so easily being uh, reworked in, in U.S. Secondly, okay. the formulation is also 50 percent is done outside. However, given the fact that that is said, there's a good news for Indian companies also. They should set up a shop in U.S. now. Right. Uh, Vikas Dandekar, uh, our pharma editor, also here with us. Vikas, uh, you know, we saw the impact of what uh, happened in the U.S. overnight play out on Indian IT companies. How do you see uh, Indian pharma companies react to what they're hearing now from the U.S. president? Right. Shirin, so, you know, the essence of generic industry has been on low-cost manufacturing. And, you know, uh, U.S. government has come out with regular data showing how the healthcare, uh, you know, uh, side of the economy has saved billions of dollars over years. So there is no, no denying the, uh, you know, uh, the importance of the generic industry and the whole, uh, you know, cost economy that has been brought into the U.S. system can never be understated. So it looks a little disruptive. Uh, you know, the, the statement about $2.5 billion required over 15 years. These are all conventional ideas, and, uh, you know, FDA has been extremely strict in terms of regular, regularly approving uh, products. So, uh, you know, how, how the, all of these ideas will be out is still very, very difficult to understand. Net-net, uh, uh, you know, he has also mentioned about Obamacare, uh, repealing the, 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 the whole system out there. So a lot of things are there which are playing up uh, and it looks pretty disruptive. Uh, from the generic point of yeah, view, it, I think it is, it is less a fear than the branded industry because that's where the costs have actually spiraled up. Yeah, uh, because hang in there, we've also got Mr. Habil Khurakiwala of Walk Hard joining us. Mr. Khurakiwala, thanks very much for joining us. Well, these are the comments that have come in uh, from the president. Uh, you know, we don't have much fine print beyond what he said, uh, where he's talking about, uh, you know, prioritizing low-cost uh, manufacturing, and he wants the U.S. companies to return, U.S. pharma companies to return. He also wants uh, foreign countries to pay their share, fair share of development costs, whatever that means. Uh, how would you respond and what do you believe this could mean as far as uh, uh, companies in India are concerned? Uh, as you know that uh, most of the uh, products which go companies in India operate either in USA or the products from here are a generic product. So I think he's far more directed in this case to the big pharma and innovative products where uh, he believes that the prices in USA is high compared to elsewhere in the world. And that is where he is focusing primarily on the big pharma. And also he might be focusing on some of the off-patent products where there is a monopoly of supply and the prices are extremely high. But I mm. don't believe it will affect uh, most uh, of the products introduced by Indian companies. Uh, okay. either manufactured in U.S. or supplied from here. So you think that uh, at this point in time, uh, Indian industry shouldn't get unduly perturbed on the back of what we've heard? Because uh, if he's talking about lowering prices, then it would only bode well for him to actually encourage collaboration with India. That is true, because Indian companies over the years have reduced billions of dollars in the cost to American uh, health uh, organization because of the competitiveness we have introduced. And that's why we have about 30-35% of market share in prescription. Mm. 
Uh, I also want you to comment on what he said there as far as the U.S. FDA is concerned. He's, of course, said that he, he will be appointing a new head uh, for the U.S. FDA, but uh, also saying that uh, he will bring down regulation significantly. It cannot take years for the U.S. FDA to clear uh, approvals. Uh, so saying that while there will be protection for people, regulation will come down significantly. Your comments on that? I think uh, that would be very positive news uh, because uh, ec uh, experience of the Indian company is okay, when you deal with therapy and other regulators, it is mm. relatively possible to comply with it, whereas you know, uh, US regulation is quite uh, complex and time consuming. So that would be yeah, a positive but, you know, I development want, I want, uh... for Indian company. Okay, but I want both you and Mr. Handa as well as Vikas to comment on what he talked about. He was talking there about intense competition. In fact, he even talked about bidding wars. Uh, now, what will happen if Medicare begins to negotiate directly with pharma companies? How could that impact generic companies, for instance, Mr. Kurakiwala? Uh, see, today, the most of the supplies made is via large wholesalers to the U U.S. market, including to the government and everyone else. And since there are a large number of uh, generic companies today, there is a decent competitive dynamics operating in U.S. So probably uh, uh, what uh, he might be referring to is improved competitiveness and do a direct uh, uh, tendering or bidding. So that might uh -huh. uh, help Indian companies because we would be more competitive okay. and we have a potential okay. to get uh, better penetration. Uh, Mr. Handa, would you uh, agree with that assessment? So I think what is he aiming at is that the proprietary companies, when they are offering this to the government, they would be as competitive as to the generic uh, prices. Therefore, to my mind, this would impact uh, uh, purchases of the generic products by the government. That I am definitely think it will happen. But I think, uh, Sirin, and on the larger issue, is trying to balance two things. Is trying to balance the price control uh, by reducing the drug prices, as well as is trying to balance the employment. Now, these are two sometimes uh, contrary views because if you want a lower prices, mm. you cannot do it in the U.S. And if you want to do it mm. in U.S. and give employment, then you have higher prices. So I think, mm. I think it's a very difficult balance for it. It is going to be a difficult balance. I'll leave Vikas with a final word. Vikas, uh, uh, the, the U.S. markets, I think the Dow has now dropped about 100 points. Uh, uh, we're still trying to understand the full implications of what President Trump is saying and whether this means uh, relief for Indian generic companies or uh, uh, at least more uncertainty for the sector in general. I, you know, I, I, I'll just wrap it up very quickly on this point. See, uh, the wholesalers and distributors uh, command about, I, I think, just about three or four of them uh, uh, garner about 90-95% of all the generic supply. And that had become a big concern for the generic industry because, you know, the, 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 uh, the power to negotiate pricing had been very difficult. Now with the procurement, if it at all comes, will actually become a volumes game and if it is a volumes game indian companies can really score well because of the cost efficiencies and manufacturing all that is based here so overall i think uh, uh, it's it's not going to be as damaging or harmful as has been made out to be the real concern as the other two speakers have said it's probably on the branded or the innovative side generics probably will remain safe Okay, generics probably will remain safe. Uh, uh, this seems to be directed more at the branded and uh, uh, side of the market, of the pharma market. But we will continue to analyze this story as we move forward. We are completely out of time. Mr. Kurakiwala, Keval Handa, Vikas, thanks very much for joining us here on this edition of What's On.